All right, what is going on, everyone? Wow, are we taking a departure from my, my safe zone today? Uh, DSP here, and welcome to a brand new playthrough, a playthrough that many probably didn't think would ever happen, uh, a game that many people have over the years asked me to play. Ladies and gentlemen, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic from 2003, a blast from the past, Bioware uh, making a name for themselves with this game. You know, later on they went on to greatness making such series as Mass Effect and Dragon Age, but back in the day, it was Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2 that really put them on the map. And I missed out on this game because at the time I was heavily into Street Fighter, I was not playing console video games all during that, you know, 2000s era until, say, around 2008, I really wasn't playing console video games or, or PC games at all, I was just playing Street Fighter. And uh, at the time it was funny because at the time, the Star Wars franchise was kind of a joke, after George Lucas had made the second trilogy of movies that a lot of people critically panned, and then he went back and threw all this new CGI crap into his classic trilogy of Star Wars, and then just like just to stab Star Wars fans in the back, refused to sell the original Star Wars trilogy of movies without the CGI. I mean, who knows what was going through Lucas's mind at the time, but uh. Bioware did something different. They took the franchise, and instead of ruining the existing plotline, they made a prequel that was far in the past. In fact, I think, if I remember correctly, Knights of the Old Republic is said about 1,000 years in the past from the mainstream Star Wars plotline. Now, I want to reiterate, I didn't play this game, and I don't know much about it. I did not, you know, I didn't spoil, I don't know a lot about it. I'll say this during the playthrough. If you guys are watching this on Twitch or on YouTube, you're going to probably going to want to stay away from the stream chat and or the comments on YouTube if you don't want to be spoiled. There are going to be a bunch of dicks, undoubtedly, who are going to be out to spoil the game. And I'm going to not be paying attention mostly to the stream chat because I don't want to be spoiled with any kind of crazy plot twists or anything that are going on. Okay? So, to, 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 to up front tell you about this game. Uh, it is from 2003. It is not meant to be played on modern uh, systems. So as you can see already, the game is not even filling the screen. What I've done, I actually purchased the game off of Steam and through some research installed a few mods that are going to allow this game to be rendered in 1080p. Now I know some people might say, well how is that going to work? Well, it might not work all the time. In fact, people have already said the cutscenes a lot of the times won't work. Uh, there's going to be scenes where things aren't filling the screen because, as you can see, the artwork was not drawn to fill the screen. It was only drawn to be a standard resolution, not a widescreen resolution, because in 2003, no one was using widescreen TVs and or monitors yet. So, we're going to have some things that aren't going to look right, but for the most part, I'm hoping we can get this to work. Um, uh, excuse me. I want to say this up front. If there are issues with audio, video, please let me know. I'll be checking the stream chat for that kind of stuff uh, as we start, so I can adjust the audio levels and such as we get started here with uh, Knights of the Old Republic, alright? Alright, so enough talk from me, let's actually get started here. New game. Aha! With some epic music. We have to create a character, so we got a, a skillful rogue that gets by on stealth and guile, the male scoundrel. We got the male scout, an explorer most at home on the fringes of space. There's a male soldier, a battle ready fighter with no equal in combat. And then, of course, the same thing, only female. Hmm. To play a male or a female in this game, does it matter? I wonder if the stats are different. Probably not. Should be a female rogue and try to sleep with everyone. Here we go. Whoa, custom character. Portrait. Hey now, she's not bad. Whoa, she looks like uh, what's her name from the 1980s. <laughs> Good ponytail. Damn, there's a lot of freaking uh, templates here. I think I'll pick her. Attributes. The attributes of your character apply bonuses or penalties. To everything from combat to skill checks to force powers. Alright. So we have 30 points to put in. Hmm. 
Charisma represents personality and the ability to lead. We were 15 in that. Close to 11. Constitution, very important. There we go. Skills. Each of your character's skills has a number associated with it. This is the skill rank and determines how good the character is with that skill. Difficulty check of 15. Oh my god. We're never gonna figure this out. 20 points. Computer use. Look at this. Treat an injury, repair, persuade. Ooh. Oh, I maxed out her Persuade. I'll, be, I'll max out Treat Injury. Here we go. Computer use. Stealth. Nah. Ah, I don't have enough skill points. Let's just go with this. Feats. Some feats allow you to use special items like heavy armor or implants. Other feats modify saving throws and skill checks during the game. And some feats are used during combat. Huh. What the hell? You've been granted the following feats. Armor proficiency light, critical strike, sniper shot, weapon proficiency blaster pistol, blaster rifle, melee weapon, sneak attack one, and scoundrel's luck. I have one feat I can choose. What do we have here? What is this? Armor features and light. So I can upgrade one of these? What is this? Doubles the critical threat range of a melee attack. Basic training use of a standard blaster pistol. Blaster rifle. Hand to hand. Ah, okay, I need to upgrade one of them, I guess. Unless I could do this, too. Dueling. One extra vitality point every time they level up. Oh, shit. That's good. Name. Nona Avere? That was the default name they gave her, huh? What should I name her? Hmm. I'm trying to think of a good name. <laughs> okay. Great. Miley Sarasia. Yes. Alright, let's do this. Let's get this show on the road. And it does not look like the cutscenes are capturing, ladies and gentlemen, because you cannot see it. It is playing for me, but you cannot see it, so... I think I'm just gonna skip it. I skipped the cutscene. I don't even care. Here we go. Alright, I have no idea what I missed. Great. Oh my god. Look at this. <laughs> she's wearing nothing. Look at her ass. Oh god, she's gonna start twerking any second. Miley Sarasia will start twerking. How do you open the door? What the fuck? What? Oh, what happened? I got shot to the bank. What's going on? There's explosions. We've been ambushed by a Sith battle fleet. The Endar Spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. Huh. Ambush by Sith. Okay, who are you or the Endar Spire? Let's say the Endar Spire. Did you fall out of your bunk and hit your head? <laughs> the Endar Spire is the ship we're stationed on. This ship. 
You probably don't even know who I am, do you? I'm Trask Olgo, ensign with the Republic Fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. We work opposite shifts. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up! We have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. Who's Bastila? Bastila is the commanding officer on the Endar Spire. Well, not an officer, really. But she's the one in charge of this mission. One of our primary duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. Now it's time to make good on that oath. I know all about your reputation. How you used to smuggle spice and blasters along the Corellian run. Huh. I guess the Republic figured since they couldn't catch you, they might as well hire you. <laughs> and I'll admit, the Republic is in desperate need of someone with your kind of skills. Desperate enough to overlook your shady past. But now that you signed on for this mission, you're part of the Republic fleet. And Bastila needs all troops at her side during this attack. So I'm basically getting imp recruited impromptu. Okay. Alright, let's help. No, you don't let's be a dick. I'm heading to the escape pods. Don't be stupid. <laughs> you won't stand a chance against the Sith by yourself. We gotta stick together if you wanna make it out of this alive. So hurry up and grab your gear. You need to suit up so we can get out of here. Where can I get my equipment? You can move the mouse to the edges of the screen to rotate the camera. Alternately, moving the mouse while holding down the right mouse button will rotate the camera as well. No kidding. Okay. To move towards the <laughs> footlocker, hold down the right mouse button and face the camera towards it. Then hold down the left mouse button as well to cause the character to run forward. You can left click on an object to select it. Once the footlocker is selected, left click on it again to perform the default action and open it. Delightful. Okay. So I gotta find it. Where is the footlocker? Right here? There we go. I got computer spike, security spike, blaster pistol, short sword, and clothing. Received 50 experience points. I can already tell the DSP gaming logo is in the wrong spot. Take a look at that, it's all screwed up. I gotta move the DSP Gaming logo somewhere. I really don't know where I can move it though, because down here is my stats, right? Come on, we have to hurry. What the fuck? The Sith might already be boarding the ship to try and capture Bastila. Shut up, Put your dick. equipment on so we can get out of here. How do I equip my items? Use the equip screen to equip the armor and weapons from your inventory. You can access this screen by selecting the equip menu icon in the upper right corner of the screen. Okay. Use the mouse to look through your inventory slots. The menu on the right displays items you can equip in each slot. Left click the mouse to select an inventory slot, and then scroll through the available items on the right and left click to equip one. Okay. So let's see, if people are saying the music is too loud, I can try to fix that. Let's see, options. That's not options. Party inventory, oh my god, I don't care about party inventory, I'm trying to find the fucking music. There you go. Sound. There you go. Lower the music volume. Lower the, every, literally everything. Everyone's complaining it's too loud. Movies won't even play. Okay. Is this, how is it now, guys? Let me know. Now that I've adjusted it, how does it sound? I love how I asked, how's the sound? Everyone says, it's... The fucking graphics are choppy. I said, how's the sound? Still loud, people are saying. Alright. Or even more. Graphics, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, we're playing it in 1080p, and I could either enable or disable stuff. Now the sound, now the sound completely stopped. The song just gave up. Huh. <laughs> Oh, people are saying it's just the music that's loud. Okay, hold on. 
Sorry, I have to wait 30 seconds to hear everyone say everything. It sucks, I know. Okay. Graphics, I have no idea what to fix. I really don't. Disable V-Sync, someone's saying. It was like it's on the 2AA. Okay, let's try this. Alright, let's run around and see what happens now. Nope, still choppy, huh? In fact, now I think the whole thing crashed. You know what, the game's not doing it. It's not the game, it's the capture software. Yeah, it's not the game that's doing it, it's the capture software. Use the equip screen to equip the armor and oh weapons my from God. your inventory. You I'm trying to fucking figure the game out, you fucking dipshit. Leave me the fuck alone. Oh my god, use the equip screen. Oh my god. Okay, let me equip so he'll shut the fuck up. How do you do this? Put the blaster pistol. Clothing. That's it, the blaster pistol and the clothing is all I can equip. Alright. Alright, now I'm going okay, to shut up. Let's move out. No! Please. I need to get the game to fucking work. Trash joined your party. Oh my god, in most areas you can use the party selection screen to quickly switch party members in and out. Wow, shut up so I can fucking play the game. Because of the attack, this room is in lockdown. But don't worry, I've got the override codes. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. How do I usually unlock you the door? You always control the leader of the party. You can switch who is the party leader by left-clicking on their portrait in the lower left corner of the screen. Left click my portrait now to switch me to the party leader, then use me to open the door. Left right, click shut up. So shut up so I can figure this out. Yeah, see? It's not the game. The game is actually smooth. It's OBS, which is my capture software that's doing this. And I have absolutely no clue why or how to fix it. Um it looks like when I'm not moving, it's fine, but as soon as I start moving is when it happens. Yeah, look. I'm wondering if I downgrade it to standard resolution if it'll fix it. I don't know what's causing it. Huh. I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do to fix it. this first part to like figure out the technical issues.